Hey guys, what's going on? Now I'm doing something completely different than I've never done before and that is putting waders on while on a boat. <laughs> now today we are going clamming and where are we? We're in the Nyanic River. Nyanic on the River. Waterford side of the Nyanic River. This is only the second time I've ever clammed. The first time we were wearing knee high boots and we were on an oyster farm and now we are in a river and the water is 62 degrees. So that's the reason for the waders because I'm definitely not going swimming in here when it's that cold. Where are we going to be finding these? Like closer to the shore? You're, probably gonna, you're going to be a little bit further out probably, right Kathy? Yeah, I find that it gets more stony over here and you can, you can see you can the see stones it. in right. here. So I find that it's a little bit easier to clam if you go a little bit further out. Yeah, into okay. the mud. More the like waist high water? Yeah. Here, here, yeah. And so we're going to be using rakes like we did the last time that we went out. And let's get our waders on and get in. I forgot to say that today I'm with Carl and Kathy and huge thank you for them for bringing us out on their boat and showing us how to go climbing. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Glad to have It'll be you. fun. It's addicting. <laughs> Kathy loves clamming. I do. I love clamming. Going in. Going in. It's shallow right now. At least over here it is. Can you hand me a rake, please? You got it. Kathy, you want to give her a quick lesson? <laughs> and it, you know what? You'll, you get the feel of it where the clams actually feel different from the stones. Yeah. But right now, it feels like pretty stony here. Did you find one? Yeah. Oh. Kathy got one. But it's very, you can see, there's a lot of stones in here, so yeah. Kind of scratch along. I got one. There we go. You did. Look at you. Try to get some of yeah. the mud off. All right. Now the last time we went clamming, we left a lot of mud on the clams, but we actually left them in the water to like filter out for like two days at the dock while we were tuna fishing. And so today, we're gonna try to rinse them off good so they're not all muddy like last time. There we go. Put this bad boy in my basket. Now there's also a size limit, and here's the measure. And if your clam went through it, then that would be it was too small. So this is plenty big. But if it fell through there, then you'd have to let it go. I think I have one. You might have missed it. Oh no, I got one. You got one? Yeah, this is a bigger one. Man, it is muddy stuff, isn't it? Rinse them off a little bit. This is a bigger one. This one I actually heard. Like Carl was saying that when you hit your rake on it, you can kind of tell the difference of sound between a rock and a clam. And that one I did. I knew I had a clam that time. It kind of makes like a higher pitched noise than a rock. There we go. There's my second one. And I feel like the rocks kind of get into your basket easier than clams do. Yes. Like the clams, you kind of have to dig a little harder. You do. And once you get a good spot, oftentimes there's more than one. Yeah? Yeah, there might be a whole bunch. I think I have hmm. one, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. She's a master clammer. Number three? See, look, you see how I made a scratch on the shell? Trying to pry oh. it up. That was from my rake. I got another one. The other Isn't thing is great? when it's this deep, you can't see. like feel around for them on the ground if you miss them. Oh, I got a twofer. Oh, did you? I did. You got two did ones. You? I got a twofer. Double. Double. Where's yours that you said you got? I think Those I missed it. That's what I was saying then. You, you can miss it. You know, you think you have it right yeah. in your rake and off it goes. Another two fur. Really? Maybe I gotta go out a little bit. There's a lot of them. Yeah, my little bit. I can see where this would make you sore. Oh, you get a good workout. Get a, definitely get a good workout. Ooh. Oh, what do you call that? You got some seaweed. <laughs> Yeah, but there might be some in there. Shake I got it. A big rock. Sometimes you shake it. Yeah, she is going. So these are all cohogs. These are all cohogs. Yes. But they, they classify it by size, by little necks, cherry stones, and cohogs. Cherry stones are the smallest? The cherry stones are very small. Kathy's killing it over here. She's like, like this is a good whisperer. spot. The clam whisperer. <laughs> nope. Oh. 
Got it. That's, that, that's a good sized rock. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to steam that. Up. <laughs> Can't steam the rocks. Put them in there when you go. Oh, Brooke's secretly slaying the clams over here. I'm not slaying. I'm definitely not. View in there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, got one. And I actually thought that one was a rock. <laughs> and it wasn't. It was a clam. Yeah. Got one. Look at all those rocks. Oh, I thought I had two for a second. You have a two for? No, not yet. Still haven't got a double. Only singles over here. I like how concentrated you have to be. You do. You know? Kathy finds it relaxing. Yeah. I do find it relaxing. Very thirsty. Kathy got her three. She got a triple. Uh, got a triple. Let's see. You got triples? Yeah, I do. And you got good size ones. Yeah, they're nice. <gasps> Look! Yeah. You got a baby clam. I don't think this one's gonna be legal. First small clam. Yep, not legal. Fits right yep. through there. Mine too. I got a triple. One Ooh. clam and three rocks. <laughs> I mean two rocks. <laughs> I got one like you got, Vic. That has, snail on it. is that a snail? It's a snail. Really? Look at that. Yeah, so all you gotta do is they, they should come off your bag or something. Oh, got another little one. Yeah, that's tiny, huh? Oh, yeah, real small. He needs to grow a little more. Yeah. Oh, Kathy, I thought I had you with a triple. It's a double, not a triple. Look at that. Kathy's the only one to get three so far today in her uh, clam rig. Look, have you had a double? Nope. Sometimes where I have my days, I can't even get a single. I got a one. No doubles for me. Nice rock, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice rock there. I think I'm definitely winning on the amount of rocks. <laughs> I, I, some days it's like that for me too. Maybe one day I'll get a double. She'll be, she'll be getting all the clams, I'll be like, get like, she'll get like 60 to my six. <laughs> How's it going, babe? It's going good. Are you tired yet? No. All I can get is singles. Hey. Singles over time, fill up a basket. No doubles for me. I'm getting a little deep here. The waves are almost splashing into my waders. <laughs> can you hear or feel the difference between a rock and a clam? Um, I thought I used to be able to, but I think I lost my touch. <laughs> All right, what are we working with for? Probably, what, two and a half dozen? Maybe three dozen? I think it's probably closer to three dozen. I don't know if I talked about the limit yet, but the limit is... It's one peck per person per day. One peck per person per day. Say that fast, three dozen. One peck per person per day. Now <laughs> three times. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy looks like she's almost got her basket kind of full over there. She's working on it. And we haven't helped her out at all. That's no, all her. That's all her. <laughs> She's good over there. Yeah, it takes a little practice, and you get a little bit. You know, you, you get used to how deep you have to go, and and. Uh, I think my problem is, is that sometimes I think my rake is facing the right way, and then it's. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't well, know how that happens. Like I tell you, last week Kathy was having that. She was having the same issue. Why is it not getting anything? Well, because it was upside down. So you're but raking I, with the but, smooth part. But I am. I. Not that I'm raking with the smooth part, but you know how it's dark so you can't see the rake? Right. So when I go to pick it up, I accidentally tip it over sideways. But I've gotten plenty of rocks, so I'm not letting everything go. <laughs> but they're not, they're not edible rocks. No. They're, they're not legal size. They're not, they're not the good rocks. So I'm getting plenty of rocks, so I know I'm not emptying my basket out totally. I can see where a little practice would definitely get you a little bit better at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a clean. Oh, that's a clam? It sounds like a clam on your rake. It kind of sounds like nails on a chalkboard. I think it sounds like a rock. <laughs> it looks like mud. 
I don't think I got it. <gasps> oh, I did it! I got a triple! No way! Yes! Yeah. I knew I was filling them there. Woohoo! Got a triple! <laughs> Finally! I didn't get a double, I got a triple. This is the moment you've been waiting for, this isn't is it? This is the moment I've been waiting for. See, sometimes a little patience pays off. I got a triple. Will you hold up your basket for me so I can show your fans? Or your rake? I keep saying basket, I meant to say rake. Well, it's a basket rake. All right, there's Bricky's triple. Yay! Were you filming the whole time so people know I wasn't lying? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I was filming. Cool. All right, well, there's my triple. I think that we're gonna keep raking here, but we're gonna put the camera away. So the next time I see you, we'll be in the kitchen, shucking these guys or doing something with them and making a new recipe. I'll see you there. I was about to put the camera away and all of a sudden I hear, I got a double! I'm in a hot spot, let me show you. I just got a double. After getting a triple. After getting a triple. And I think there's still more. There's like a clam colony over here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight we are back home in Florida and Victor and I brought home some fish as well as some clams. We shook the clams, froze them, and brought them home on the plane. And tonight Victor's gonna be cooking some straight bass and I'm going to be making a clam linguine. So let's get to cooking. All right, so what I got going on right now is I have some butter and then some diced up onions into this pan. And my onions have been in there for a while and now they're nice and brown. And now I'm going to add some garlic to it. So I'm going to just let my garlic be in there for a little bit. And then I'm going to add this wine. Now that my wine's in there, I'm gonna let my wine reduce by half, and then I'm gonna go to the next step. Now my wine's not completely reduced to where I want it to be yet, but I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes that I have halved. So now my wine's reduced and my tomatoes are nice and tender. I turned my heat lower, down to like medium low. Now I'm gonna add some nice chopped fresh parsley. Then I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. Now I'm going to add some clam juice. It was hard to bring home with actual clam juice. We do have a little bit with the clams that I'll add in later, but right now I'm going to add in this bottle of clam juice, as well as a little bit of heavy cream. There's just a little bit of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now to get the level of juice that I wanted, I also added some chicken stock to it. Probably about a third of a cup of chicken stock. So this is what we got going on here. And now my sauce is basically done. The only thing I have left to do is to add the clams, which will probably take only like three minutes. You don't want to cook them too much. So now I'm going to put my linguine in. And this is a trick that my dad always did with a box of linguine so that you have smaller pieces. You take it against the counter you crack it in half so now your linguine pieces are in half. That way you don't have to mess around with a spoon while you're trying to eat your pasta. I know some people are probably out there crying, but <laughs> it works really good and it's a good tip. So now I'm going to add my clams that I chopped up. I'm gonna hand you a plate and you put the fish on and then you guys can eat the food because I don't want it to be cold. All right, so I'm putting my pasta onto the plates 
And then Victor made, what did you make, Vic? If you've ever been to P.F. Chang's and you got Chang's spicy chicken, basically what I try to recreate with fish. So that's what I made. It's got scallions, garlic, uh, chili sauce, a really tangy and sticky gooey sauce. They may, this one. they may not go perfectly together, but they both smell really good. It's really good. Now there's extra linguine and the bottom kind of had more clams and tomatoes, so don't be afraid to eat more. Well, I thought the linguine turned out really great and Victor's fish was absolutely amazing. Make sure you guys check out his video. I will have it linked down in the description. And I'm really glad that we got to bring home some of that fish from the Northeast so we could have a big family dinner. It was a lot of fun. What did you guys all think? Really good. Yes. Yes. Two thumbs up. Well, I want to give a huge thank you to Carl and Kathy for bringing us out clamming. We had a ton of fun. And also thank you to them for being such awesome hosts for us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.